Let me know. Yes, sir. You going? Yes, sir. All right. This right here is, uh, first and foremost, our praises to the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, out of his only begotten son, the Holy Messiah. What we got here is called Ancient Jewish Art by Gabriel said Reshner. This is for the naysayers who claim ain't no uh, tombs of no Israelite prophets or we don't got no type of artwork going back. And those are said ancient. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So you're dealing with Israelites, even though that word says Jewish right there. Right. They, they're identifying a Judaic culture. Right. And those are says ancient. Right. So this is, this is not a comic book. You figure deal me? It's right. Real. Right here, page eight. Get a close up on that right there. That tomb. Yeah, that's a tomb. It says, Sculptured Tempanon from the Catacombs, known as Jehoshaphat's Tomb, Kidron Valley, Jerusalem, mm. second to the first century BCE. Rip off that. That's for the naysayers to claim it ain't no tombs or whatever madness these Negroes are claiming today. Mm -hmm. You feel me? As if Israelites don't do research and as if we don't have no type of history right. or archaeology. That's a lot. Yep. All right, the next one we got. Y'all go get these books, you know what I'm saying? They cost a little arm and a leg, but... It's worth it. It's worth it. Don't lend it out. Right, yeah, right. And not lend them out. <laughs> right, they get it back. Tomb of the Patriarchs, Hebron. Structural wall by Herod the Great. 37, he lived from 37 to 4 BCE. Where, where you reading that, Hebrew? Right down here. Oh, okay. Right down here. And that's in Hebron today, Tomb of the Patriarchs. For, for people that claim that we don't do no research, I always keep y'all reading the Bible. You dig? And, but as if we don't go deep, as if we ain't into the archaeology. Right. As if we ain't into the science and math. We are. Read yes, Daniel, the first chapter and the fourth verse. Daniel and them were called scientists. Mm. You feel me? But there's a false form of science as well. Right. That's out there to overthrow the faith of the simple. And that's page 17. All right. Lord Plan of the Temple. What do we have here? Look at this here. Down here, catacombs of the Bene Hazir with the tomb of Zechariah. Wow. The tomb of Zechariah, Kidron Valley, Jerusalem, second to first century BCE or before the common era. Now look at this. Look at everything in the background. Man, that's a graveyard, man. Right. I'm talking about it ain't no proof of no Israelite tombs and all that. And for y'all that don't know, even if you tripping off bodies, the first grave robbers are the archaeologists. Who you think robbed mm. the graves? Mm. Who you think robbed uh, all the uh, all the uh, pyramids and tombs in Egypt? That's right. You show right. Indiana Jones, <laughs> <laughs> archaeologists, man. Right. So this is proving that we had we got tombs where we buried our loved ones at, man. Right. You can't get around it. Again, that's the tomb of Zachariah Kidron Valley. All right. Some more. Artwork, Norris. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. This right here is the view. This is the view from Masada. If anybody know about the fall of Jerusalem, this is one of our last strongholds. And a lot of brothers chose rather to kill themselves or commit suicide than be taken by them Romans. But look at, look, but look at this. Look at that. That's at the top of the mountain. That's over in Israel today. And that was one of our last wow. strongholds banging against them Roman beasts. You know what Wow. That's a Masada. story. This is Masada, area view of the Northern Palace. Think about it, man. Right. Everybody be talking like, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, and it's for the younger brothers and sisters to keep the faith. That's right. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is do you some research. You'll see that you have the most in-depth, detailed record on the planet, and it's called the Bible, and every other book to testify of it. This right here, it says, Funerary Moment Known as Absalom's Tomb, Kidron Valley, Jerusalem, 2nd to the 1st century BCE. Look at that. Absalom to now Absalom was David's son. Mm. So if mm -hmm. if he's buried, that means David was real. That's because right. Because they were none of those men That's exist. Right. Well, if Absalom is buried, then that means he was born and right. his father is David. All you gotta do is go check the book right. of Chronicles and you learn about David and his progeny. Right. They ain't making tunes for fictional characters. Yeah, they ain't making tunes for fictional characters. <laughs> Come on now, we got some more. Just a few more, we're gonna get up out of here. This right here is to prove that the Roman Judea War happened during 70, 70 AD. This right here, uh, I'm gonna start from here left to right. It says, these are all coins, okay, minted coins, it okay? This says bronze struck by a grip of the first. Obverse, three ears of corn, they inscribed on both sides the year six of Agrippa's reign. You can read mm. about Agrippa in Acts. Yep. 
All right, this right here, coins of the they say Jewish war, the Israelite war, silver she silver shekel, a verse, chalice, inscription, and center. Year two of the war, sixty seven mm. through sixty eight C E. Round the circumference, shekel of Israel. Mm. That's a straight coin or a shekel of Israel. Boy, is that the boy? Is that money? Mm. Yeah, remember ain't the boy? No roof is yeah, ain't no roof is <laughs> They had to mint. They had to mint their own money because right. they was fighting against their enemy. Mm -hmm. So for you revolutionary Negroes claiming y'all gonna take this enemy down with his money, it ain't gonna happen. Right, to separate themselves for their enemy, yeah. they had to create their own currency. You had to create your own currency and set your own thing up, but that's what you gonna do, and you already know Negroes is crazy as hell. Right. But, this, but you see the steps, the real revolution, what they did, they mended their own money. Right. Uh, bronze obverse M4, inscription of the periphery, the year three. Reverse vine leaf inscription for the liberation right, of Zion. Here, inscription, the redemption of Zion. You feel me? So these are coins right here. Right? They actually are artifacts and it prove that the Israelites of antiquity did live and exist. And we are their descendants. That's All right. right. We got a few more and then we're going to go ahead and get this class started. This right here is the what a coin the Romans minted when they mm -hmm. was fighting against us. Right? It says, bronze... Uh, Cesaris yeah. Averse Effigy of Vespasian on, mm. Okay Inscription Caesar Vespasian Augustus Pontifus Maximus You can read the rest of that Reverse It says Judea Captive That's what that say around here Judea Captive That's a Roman soldier Where you see Where the Judea Captive It's at? right over here You gotta get real close to it I pull up with Josephus So you can really see it But this coin in the Josephus That's the Judea right here And then on the side Say Captive that's mm. the backside of Vespasian coin. Because they wow. they also commemorated when they took our forefathers down. Right. And this is a Roman soldier looking like he's pissing on a sister. Oh. The Israelite sister. What? Under a willow tree. Look at that. And the, look, so what, what the Romans doing minting dead if they wow. never took us down? Right. As if we don't exist. So we got the exactly. Roman side of it. They meant their money. We and got you the got Israel our outside. side of it. We meant our money. That's right. Real talk. And I got one more show you. I'm going to show y'all brother most. Mm. That's some more, you know what I'm saying, some more art. Lilies, you know, we used to decorate everything with lilies back then. Uh, 144. See that? Mm -hmm. I got one to show y'all about Moses, our brother Moses. One of the greatest men to ever, one of the greatest. He ain't greater than right. Howard Shaw. Right, that's right. That's jewelry, you know, pottery and all that. Menorahs on bracelets. Big. You got, you got that? You got that manure on that bracelet, yeah, I can okay. see that. Okay. Let me show y'all Moses real quick. Show y'all the real Moses. Damn. Right there. That's Moses right Moses. there? Moses. They said the exodus from Egypt, the crossing of the Red Sea, west wall, upper register. Look at that. Now what is, what, what, what is the white imposter Jew doing putting Moses up? As a black man, Afro, dark skin, why he don't look like Steven Spielberg? Right. Right? Because before they whitewashed everything. Yeah, look at that. Moses again. The exodus from Egypt. Moses leads the Israelites, the Egyptian army drowns. West Wall, Upper Register. And you just read that right up under the picture. Mm -hmm. And we got plenty more, man. There's so much stuff. Let me show you something they show It's It's Abraham. Let me get that one of Moses again, just that right. Because it was kind of blurring up on me a little bit. Exodus from Egypt, Moses leads the Israelites, the Egyptian armies drown. West Wall, Upper Register. That's all good. We got, we got plenty exactly. more proof, plenty more archaeology, plenty more proof proving that the Bible speaks of us as his people. We got the archaeology, we got the prophecy. And whatever you want, however you want it, you can get it in here. Science, yes, math, archaeology. Yes, uh, prophetically, we can go right through the Torah and to not prove the Messiah. We, can go, we got secular sources proving the Messiah as well. That's secular right. sources too. You dig? So all praise to the Most High and honor of His Son, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the Rock of Thoth, the Torah, tribe of Israel, scattered abroad, commandment, keepers, and faith of the Messiah. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.